patients who are diagnosed with myeloma have this excessive growth of the plasma cells within the bone marrow. And those cells can do a number of things. First of all, they crowd out the bone marrow such that other cells don't have enough space to work, like red cells. So anemia is a common thing that we find in patients with myeloma. And a person would know about anemia because that usually leads to fatigue, tiredness. Those cells residing in the bone can also destroy the structure of our bones. So there's a couple of things that can happen as a consequence of that. Number one, the bones are very rich in calcium. So they release that calcium for the bones. So the calcium levels in the blood can be very high. And that can lead to complications such as confusion and kidney problems. Because of that damage in the bones, do they create points of weakness? So uh, a person with myeloma will report pain. And this is pain that is worsened with movement or weight bearing, like the pain of a fracture. So those are things that are frequently reported by patients with myeloma. The myeloma cells, they produce proteins that are normally would be part of this antibodies that's fight of infection. And a fragment of those proteins can go down into the urine through the kidneys and ultimately clogs up the collecting system in the kidneys. So that can lead to renal failure. So the four hallmarks of myeloma include anemia, bone destruction, elevation of the calcium to renal problems or kidney problems.